Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking all about acne, so settle on in. I'm going to share with you guys that I used to have the crappiest skin on the planet and some tips and tricks on how I keep my skin really clear now, things I do in my routine to make sure that I don't experience breakouts that I used to experience all the time. And also, a lot of you guys have wanted to know what my experience with Accutane was because I have mentioned that yes, a long time ago I did go on Accutane because I had cystic acne and it was a last resort. I spent so much time in a dermatologist's office and I was trying everything from antibiotics, topicals, just everything. And I spent so much money, not just my time, but my money trying to fix my acne and it was so horrible. I felt like nothing was working. And looking back, I actually have to say, I look at my skincare routine, things I was doing daily that were not that great, things I was doing with my diet that I could have changed that I think would have helped my acne situation. And maybe I wouldn't have had to go on Accutane and do something so extreme because it was not a fun experience. And I'm almost to the point where I say I regret going on Accutane because it was so hard on my body. But I am gonna get to that and share with you a little bit about what it was like. So um, this is kind of, you know, in a way inspired by Clarisonic. I wanna be very transparent. I have been teaming up with their PR and they are doing really cool things next year. I'm involved in some of it and I'm really, really proud to be working with them. I've been using Clarisonic for over eight years. So this is not like a new product that I'm all of a sudden like, hey, let me talk about skin and totally talk about this item for 10 minutes and why it's so fantastic. I wear so much makeup and I really, really, believe that when you remove your makeup effectively, you're giving your skin a chance to better absorb other products, but also preventing all of that, you know, bacteria and dirt from building up and causing breakouts. So I'm going to talk more about the tool and show you how I use it um, in a little bit, but I kind of want to circle back to the Accutane bit because that has just been a thing that's been on my mind for a really long time. And a lot of people email me and DM me and they want to know Tati, should I do this? And the thing that I just want to warn you guys about is it's a pretty miserable experience. You don't get clear skin overnight. It's a whole journey. You have to be really closely monitored by your doctor. You have to get blood work done. It's not like an easy quick fix by any means at all. My system dried out so intensely that my lips were so chapped. It didn't matter. I would slather on Aquaphor. I would use really hydrating products and my skin would still crack, especially on the sides right here. It would bleed. My mouth would hurt. Hurt, my eyelids would crack, everything was dried out, just everything felt so dry. I also feel like it triggered depression. That's another crazy thing. It is a side effect that can happen when you go on Accutane and it was just a weird thing that my skin was finally clearing up and I should be feeling like good to go and happy about life, but I was feeling even worse emotionally than I was when I had the acne, which is totally weird. You know, I did get out of that funk, thank God, but I don't think I would recommend going on Accutane to anyone. I would really, really think about what you can do in your own life, not even just going to a dermatologist's office, but what you can do in your own lifestyle to make things better. Something I'm really passionate about is taking care of your skin. If you take care of your skin and put that time in in the morning to you know, cleanse and moisturize, and at the end of the day, you're removing your makeup and you're moisturizing, you're doing things to improve the quality of it. If you're doing that topical stuff and you're putting the work in, which really is like five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening, you're going to see some type of improvement over time. Now, it could be hormones. It could be, you know, just a phase in your life with your skin. It could be brought on by an allergy in your diet. I know for me, I ate really horrible foods. I was like high sugar, high fat, fast food, chemicals, just everything bad for you I ate. And I really feel like had I tidied up my diet back then, that I would have seen a bigger, more immediate result than I did just going to the dermatologist. So I look back and I go, gosh, I wish I would have done it different. So that's, I guess, what I want to share with you guys. The Accutane experience was horrible. Did it work? Yes. Would I do it again? Probably not. I would try to do other things. So now's the point where I want to share with you guys what I'm doing right now to keep everything nice and smooth and clear and clean. This guy right here has been something that I use every day, twice a day, and I love this. It's just really exciting to me that they wanna partner with me and talk about skincare, and I'm into it. I'm really into it. I believe in their technology. I really believe that this has helped keep my skin clear, and I recommend it to anybody and everyone, and I will have a discount code in the description box below, but I'm not making a commission off of it. It is just for you guys. It's for the holidays only. It is not gonna last forever. 
forever. It expires on the 31st. I really have to emphasize to you guys because there are so many copycat items out there and I wanna drive home, do not waste your money. It doesn't matter if there's a 70% off coupon code, don't use it. Most of those brushes just rotate. They do not have the patent on it. Clarisonic actually oscillates, meaning the brushes wiggle back and forth so many crazy times per second and it really just deep cleanses the skin. This is the number one recommended tool by dermatologists. So I'm passionate about this item. I saved up my own money when I was working at Nordstrom to purchase one myself. I remember like every week putting money aside for mine. And when I started using it, I immediately saw results. My skin felt smoother, brighter. And I don't think that a person out there would try this product and not like it and not see results because not only does it help your skin to be cleansed better and more effectively, but the other products, which I'm going to share with you, my favorites right now, they're going to penetrate a lot better and be more effective altogether as well. Extra bonus skincare tip, drink lots of water. You want to stay hydrated. So the Clarisonic is awesome. We get it. It's a great device and I am partnered with them on this video, loud and proud. And the description box below will have a 20% off discount code. They never do this. It's not like a typical thing. You're not going to see a bunch of people talking about Clarisonic with discount codes. It's not a commission. I'm not earning anything if you choose to use that code. It is just something that they are willing to do for a holiday for my audience. So if you are interested in purchasing one of these guys, they're not cheap, but they are worth the investment and that code will be below. To cleanse my skin, I am still using this guy. You see, I have like a fresh bottle. I have been hooked on this for a very long time. It's really great. It's very gentle. It just keeps my skin crystal clear. I love it. This is the Shiseido Ibuki Gentle Cleanser. The other cleanser that I am loving is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I prefer using this one in the morning. I don't think it removes makeup as well as this guy, so I like this one in the morning. Also, if you were going the route of Accutane or you are on really harsh anti-acne topicals and your skin's a little bit dry and you want something more gentle, this is a really, really beautiful option for a cleanser. Or you can go to the drugstore and pick up something like Cetaphil. My holy grail, B5 serum. This is from SkinCeuticals. This is the hydrating B5 gel. This is awesome if you have really stubborn skin like mine, meaning that it wants to be really, really dry and dehydrated, but if you put any oils or heavy moisturizers on it, it wants to break out and clog your pores and create a whole big issue where it's like, oh, hello, breakouts and dry skin, and what do I do? So this is kind of like my magic little little ingredient that if my skin is dehydrated, I will put this on my skin and it immediately draws so much moisture to your face, plumps up those fine lines. This is hyaluronic acid and it's a beautiful product. Then of course I have my secret weapon. This is from Nurse Jamie. This is the EGF serum. This is something that I use as my moisturizer in the morning underneath my makeup. I don't even put other moisturizer on top of it. I just use this. This has epidermal growth factors, stem cells, and peptides. It's a little bit similar to the way that a retinol works in the sense that it makes your cells turn over more rapidly and it brings that new skin up to the surface and kind of takes the, the hands of time backward a little bit, if you will. And I have seen such an improvement when I use this. I love it. Um, I use this all the time, every day. It's fantastic. So if I am going on a trip, if I'm flying on a plane and I know I'm gonna be really dehydrated, um, or I, you know, throughout my week, especially this time of year, need a little extra hydration. I reach for this guy right here. This is the SkinCeuticals Hydrating B5 Mask. This is essentially this serum in a mask. It's awesome. You lay on a nice thick layer, let it soak into the skin, and everything is just nice and refreshed and plump, and it does not make you break out or irritate the skin whatsoever. Now, I still get breakouts from time to time, even though I'm really good with my routine, and so long as I am doing every step and kind of paying attention to my skin, drinking my water, not overdoing the sugar, um, this is not something I have to reach for a ton, but when I do find myself having clogged pores or it's around my period and my hormones are going crazy and everything wants to break out around my chin, I will reach for this. This is the Repishage Hydromedic Sea Mud Perfecting Mask. This is a hydrating mud mask, so it never irritates or over dries out my skin. It just kind of spot corrects and heals whatever breakout situation I'm having. If you have 
you know, skin that's really clogged or you want a good mud mask, but you don't want to over irritate the skin or over dry things out, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. It is super good. Now, obviously I'm not using my Clarisonic directly on my eyes to remove my eye makeup. So to take off my eye makeup, I am still a fan of the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. You only need a pump, you massage your eyes, rinse it clean, and then I'll move on into the Clarisonic with more of a foamy sudsy cleanser. And if I need a little extra something or I'm traveling and I don't wanna bring my Cleanse Off Oil, this is also another favorite of mine. You can pick it up at Target. This is from Pixie. These are the Lash Nourish Makeup Removing Pads and they have Panthenol and Argon Oil. They remove water waterproof makeup. This will condition your lashes. I believe it also has castor oil in it. Yes, it does. And that enhances your lash growth, which makes me feel better. And I just really enjoy that. So there you have it. That's my routine right now. And again, that discount code will be in the description box below. I also have one more thing that I want to tell you guys that I'm so excited. I am going to not only be on Style Code Live tonight, but I am co-hosting live with Frankie Grande. It's just me and Frankie hosting the whole half hour. So I hope you guys come and check it out. I'm kind of flipping out and losing my mind over it. I'm really, really excited. A little bit nervous, but I hope to see you guys there in the live chat. It always makes me feel so much better when I'm on the show and I can kind of glance over at the big screen and I, I see you guys all there. So definitely come hang out and watch the show. And thank you guys for letting me share a little bit about my experience. I know a lot of you were hoping that I'm like, Accutane, yes, go and do it. It's awesome, but I don't think it's the answer for everyone and definitely talk to your family and your doctor and figure out what's best for you if you're struggling with acne. I know how horrible it is. Um, I definitely think one thing you can do is tighten up your skincare routine, stick to it, be consistent, and if that fails, then kind of look at other things that maybe you could adjust as well. So I hope you enjoyed all of my hot skincare picks and a little more about my story. And that's all I got for you guys. I love you so much. And I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mm -hmm.